An effort to simplify college financial aid forms has turned into a nightmare for students and families alike, but there are resources right here in southern New England to help. I'm here now with Aaron DiMaggio, director of RISLA's College Planning Center, to talk about this. Thanks for joining me. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you. So at this point, prospective college students would typically know how much financial aid they're receiving. That, of course, can impact where they choose to go to school. So talk to me about how the delayed rollout of the FAFSA form has created kind of this nightmare for parents and students. It's been a very stressful year. I would say that this is normally a very stressful time in general. The FAFSA rollout was delayed until January this year. And then when the rollout did happen, it had a lot of glitches and technical issues. So that caused further angst for our families. Um, it's got a bit of a snowball effect because of the delay and all the issues with the actual form and completing the form. They've simplified the form, but they've made it much more complex with a lot of different issues and signing in. It's had a snowball effect ultimately impacting our financial aid offices at the college and then ultimately our students here trying to make a decision on where to go. Yeah, it kind of just feels like one glitch up to another. How big of a hit are we seeing across Rhode Island and just southern New England in terms of students completing the FAFSA form? The FAFSAs are down quite a bit um, this year as a result. I think that a lot of families um, may have given up in the process. Um, either they tried to sign it, the signature glitch was there, or whatever glitch they were having. So. FAFSAs are down. Um, we are hoping through the College Planning Center to really help our students kind of finish and cross that finish line. Um, so to come see us in, in, at the College Planning Center. Absolutely. And we'll touch more on that in just a second. But um, talk, going back to the FAFSA forums being down, is this impacting a certain demographic more than another? And what are sort of the implications that we're seeing from this? Yeah, I think that it's certainly um, going to impact our low-income families uh, quite a bit, as well as our middle-income families. The FAFSA is a tool that the colleges and universities use. It's a critical piece of information to, to package our students for Pell Grant for institutional money from the college itself. So our low-income families, a Pell Grant is critical for them to obtain their higher education goals. So without having that information or that financial aid package from the school, or if they don't finish that FAFSA, that can be critical for them making a decision whether they go on to higher education or not. Yeah, absolutely. So the College of Planning, the College Planning Center is stepping up to help combat this. What are some of the resources that you guys are offering that are available to students and families? Absolutely. Tomorrow we're having an open house uh, at our office here in Cranston, Thousand Chapel View. And if you come on down with what, whatever stage that you are at in the college planning process, whether it is, I can't get my FAFSA in, I had a signature glitch, I'm trying to do a correction, um, I've gotten my financial aid package, I can't understand it, I need help with finding it, whatever you need, we're an open house uh, tomorrow, uh, 10 to 7, and come down, down and we'll give you a free ice cream cone with our friends next door at Cold Stone Creamery. And, um, other than that, we're open uh, in person, over the phone. Yesterday, we had a counselor breakfast with our counselors across the state to have those conversations of how, how can we support your students and, you know, just let them know that we are a free service here to help, if not to just be a listening ear on kind of what they're going through right now through this really stressful time. Absolutely. And that deadline is approaching really soon, May 1st. May 1st is kind of the universal deadline, mm -hmm. so we've got a week out, but many, many colleges here in the state have um, bumped out to May 15, okay. some schools to June 1. If your college hasn't made that, you know, commit date out a little bit, I would encourage you to reach out directly to your school. I think we spoke with a lot of uh, financial aid uh, directors yesterday at our, at our breakfast from CCRI and Rick and Roger Williams, and I think they're have just as much empathy through this challenging time to say, call us, we'll work with you. What can we do to help you? Because it's really challenging to make a decision on where to go to college if you don't have that financial aid packet. Absolutely. A big factor for a lot of families all across the state. And this is something that's already a challenge. So what's this is just adding to it. What's kind of the message that you're getting from students and families? What is their mood with all of this? Stress. Yeah. I think that they are feeling, especially the parents as well, of, you know, how can I make a commitment on where we are going to 
send our student to college if, if we can't have this critical piece of information. So the delay, as I mentioned, kind of had this snowball of, you know, four colleges and our friends in the financial aid office can't package these students to give them the information to make these important decisions. Absolutely. A really critical time for a lot of families. You're a parent yourself. I have a senior, as yes, you mentioned yes. to me. As a parent, how are you feeling with all of this? Um, sometimes it's like, uh, you know, the more information you have makes it a little bit more stressful. I would have thought that it might have been, but it has, it's been a stressful time. So I have many of my friends texting me at night and messaging, you know, how do I make a decision to send my student to this college or university without the financial aid offer? Mm -hmm. So I feel it as, you know, as a, as a parent of a senior, it's a, it's a very stressful time for families. So I think our message is to kind of hang in there. We can help troubleshoot anything at the college planning center. Um, we've had some successful with our team, looking at so many FAFSAs in different situations, we feel like we could really help you kind of finish that if you are struggling with that or certainly the financial aid offers. Well, thank you so much, Erin, for your time. I really appreciate thank it. Thank you, Liz.